Hello and welcome to the CMC Markets Chart of the Week video with myself, Market Analyst David Madden. Today's date is Thursday the 21st of September and this video has been recorded just after half past one. Last week's video we talked about gold uh, and we talked about how the metal came off a 13 month high at, at the beginning of the month and the pullback that we've seen may entice some buyers. Uh, the, the theme is largely still in, uh, uh, in place, what we're looking at this week. Uh, and judging by the update from the Federal Reserve last night, they do appear to be a bit more hawkish uh, than traders had anticipated. So taking a look at the, the price of gold uh, in the past 48 hours, we can see that the price of gold has continued to come off. Uh, and judging by the increase in negative momentum we've seen in the last number of trading sessions, uh, what, we, what, what, we can, uh, what, we can, what we can gleam from the chart here would suggest in the near term the negative move that we've seen in gold in the last couple of weeks is still in place. But bearing, bearing in mind gold on a, on a much wider basis and a much wider trend, uh, broadly speaking from December 2016 onwards, and particularly the upward move we've witnessed since the, the lows uh, in July, we could potentially see some pullbacks. Uh, we, we could potentially see some buyers into these pullbacks, seeing as we're approaching some levels which could be significant. If we turn our attention back here to, to August, we saw the price of gold receive support from a well, combination of both the 50-day moving average and the 100-day moving average. So seeing as it has, has proven in the past to act as a support to downward moves, it is a possibility it could do so in the near term. Um, if you look at the price of gold right now, we're not too far away from the 50-day moving average at 1288. South of that is, the, is, what is the, uh, one of the lows from August at 1276, sorry, 1267. And south of that is the 100-day moving average of the price of gold at 12.67. So we potentially could see some buyers step into the fold uh, within these price regions, seeing as the metal um, has been, been supported by the 50-day moving average and the 100-day moving average in recent months. Should we see, see a turnaround in the price of gold? Uh, should we see the price push higher? Levels to watch out for to the upside will obviously be the psychologically important $1,300 mark. And then north of that, the next kind of potential resistance level may come into play at 1316. Beyond that, uh, balls will be looking towards 1334. And then, of course, the September high of 1358, which, of course, was a 13 month high. And should we go on to create new multi month highs, uh, we could be looking towards 1375 or potentially 1400 itself. To the downside, though, uh, should we see a breaking below the 100-day moving average uh, at 1267, that would be potentially a cause for concern. There could be some suggestions that the upward move from July is coming to an end. So then some traders will then be looking back towards the 200-day moving average, which comes into play at 1244. And then south of that, we'll be looking to the, the July low of 1204. And then below that, we'll be looking to 1195. If you are trading gold, uh, bearing in mind next week and the week ahead of us, we do have growth numbers out from the United States. So just something to keep in mind. Thank you for listening and tune in next week.